the suns of Tatooine glow brightly. <laughs> you know you're supposed to say, but the moons of Endor are lovely. I swear one of these days you're going to get yourself shot being all snarky like that. No, I can't protect you all the time. Being a Jedi Master is not the same thing as being omnipotent, and I'd hate to see you get hurt. Yes, I've grown quite attached to you. However, that is not the Jedi way, so... I am simply here to receive whatever information you've gleaned from the Separatists. They plan to build something big. <laughs> We've had our suspicions about that. The Sith never thinks small. But surely you've discovered something besides size. You think the Geonosians are heading the planning? The bugs? They don't seem like the thinking type. Well, do you have any schematics or anything? Just rumor, hmm. Not much we can do on that, but I trust your judgment. Maybe we'll send someone to check in. Anything else? You believe a coup is brewing within the Mandalorians? Well, that is likely. The Duchess has been losing support to Death Watch. However, as a neutral system, that is simply not the Republic's problem. Do you have anything else? Plans for a new droidica, that is something we could use. Do you actually have the plans with you, or...? Good. I'll get this to the Council right away. If that's everything, then you need to get back to Raxus. We can't have a Separatist Senator hanging around Coruscant for too long. It was good to see you. <gasps> Troopers! Sniper shots fired! From the window, check the east balcony! Hey! You're gonna be okay. Just breathe. It didn't hit any vital spots. Yeah, you're right. No hospitals. You wouldn't exactly be accepted here, and publicity would definitely blow your cover. Okay, here, take my hood. Try to hide your face. I'll escort you to the Jedi Temple. We should be able to treat you there, discreetly. Alright, do you think you can walk? Oh, okay, okay. Don't black out on me here. I need you to keep breathing, alright? Hey, keep your eyes open. Come on, I'll carry you. You can do this. Try to stay awake. It's okay. This is shock. This is normal. You're okay. You're gonna be okay. Ugh. <sighs> You're awake. You had me worried there. Do you remember what happened? You were shot. Your lung was damaged. Uh, we've already done surgery for a replacement. But just be aware, you're about 2% machine now. <laughs> yeah, you're practically the next General Grievous. Maybe I'll teach you how to swing a lightsaber, huh? Are you feeling all right now? Yeah, the scans say you're stable, but there's always a little more at play. So do you feel okay? Mm, that's good. We can probably have you up and walking in a few minutes. Oh yes, the Council has already decided on an official story. You were on Sullust, speaking with the Sub Corporation about a permanent treaty. They rejected a long-term partnership and will deny any allegations that you were ever there. While you were returning to your ship, a Republic commando troop attempted to assassinate you. But luckily, you fought them off and made it to Thyfera for immediate back to treatment. We've already got someone forging hospital records and we've paid off key witnesses. As far as any Separatists will be concerned, you're a patriot. And a war hero. Yes, you'll have fought off a team of six clone commandos with nothing but your trusty RG-4D blaster pistol. How heroic. <laughs> yes, maybe it will be a little unrealistic. But we hope the idea of a lone hero standing off against the mindless clones will be good PR for you. Maybe get you a little deeper in certain circles. Well, I guess you just have to try really hard to sell it. I'm sure some of that natural charm will smooth over any questions they might have. 
We're still looking for the assassin. They left a cartridge for a cycler rifle, so we suspect a bounty hunter was after you. The pool of bounty hunters that use non-blaster weaponry is pretty small. Smaller still are ones that could land that shot. But we don't have any leads on location or motive. We haven't seen any bounties up for you, so this was a private contract. Can you think of any enemies who would know where you'd be? The Huts? What did you do to anger the Huts? <laughs> Long story, okay, I'll let that slide for now, but when you aren't injured, we are going to have a chat. Let the medic droid fix you up. Then we'll get you smuggled back to Raxus. Of course I was worried for you. I was terrified that you wouldn't wake up. This information never leaves this room, but I care about you very much. More than the code allows. I'm not the first Jedi to become attached, and I won't be the last. For now, we have to continue apart. The work you do is too important to pull you out, and as long as you're gone, I have nowhere else to be. But I promise, when this war is over, I'll be with you. Even if that means I have to leave the Jedi Order. Yes, I do mean that. I would do just about anything for you. And if you want me to, I'll prove it. This is my lightsaber. It saved my life countless times. I want you to take it. Hang on to it until the end of the war. It'll be a reminder of how much I care for you. I'll be fine. I have my master's old lightsaber, so I won't be without a weapon. But this lightsaber is significant. The crystal called to me when I was just an apprentice. It's mine, and I, I want you to have it. To show that I'm yours. I insist, please. Take it. I'm overdue for a meeting, and you must leave Coruscant soon. This visit must come to a close. Goodbye. May the Force be with you.